Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, today I'm not wearing my white coat, and we're going to talk all about what white coat hypertension is. Now, when you visit any healthcare professional and they're checking your blood pressure, often in the setting of being a bit anxious, stressed, worked up, when you go and visit the health professional, blood pressure may be raised. When we see this consistently, as distinct to when your blood pressure is lower normally at home, that is termed white coat hypertension. Now, I have a quick tip that I use in my patients when they're coming in to see me in my rooms, and it goes along the line of this. Now, when we're traditionally taught how to examine a cardiovascular system on patients, the textbooks all say that we start from the hand, we feel the pulse, we check the blood pressure, and then we move to looking at the heart and listening to heart sounds and also listening to the lungs. Well, what I do is firstly start by listening to the heart and the lungs. And in doing that, the patient takes a few deep breaths in and out and also holds their breath so I can listen to the heart for any possible murmurs or any problems there. And after a bit of time of doing that with a few deep breaths in and out, then I check the blood pressure. And you're surprised to find how stable and how lower the blood pressure reading is compared to the patient coming in and popping the cuff on and checking the blood pressure. Now, when we do see these high readings in the office, we don't immediately jump to provide treatment and put you on medication. It's important to verify whether blood pressure is in fact increased or raised at other times. So what we will do is may ask you to check your blood pressure at home. Rent, buy a blood pressure machine. They're pretty inexpensive these days. Most of them can link with your phone, with certain apps. And that's a great way to get a few readings during the course of the day, one or two readings, one in the morning, one in the evening, and then over the course of a few weeks, getting a record of what these readings are doing, sharing that information with your doctor, and then the decision can be made as to whether anything else needs to be done prior to starting off on any therapy. There may be utility to use a blood pressure monitor over a 24-hour period, and that is called a 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure monitor. You pop the monitor over the arm and that usually every hour, day and night will measure the blood pressure. Now that in itself can also create some level of anxiety, particularly in the first couple of readings, but normally you get used to it and um, you're able to tolerate it over the day and night and it gives us a good assessment of the trends of your blood pressure day and night. And then there are some other tests that can be useful to look at whether in fact blood pressure may be a little on the higher side and whether that has been occurring for some time. And in particular, we look at a couple of simple tests. One is a cardiogram, an electrocardiogram, and that can provide some crude assessment of the heart and the size of the heart. But also we look at an ultrasound or an echocardiogram of the heart. And that gives us very precise information about the size of the thickness and the walls, and in particular, the septum. And that's the middle part of the, the heart muscle that lies between the left and the right ventricles. Well, we know that with high blood pressure over time, that muscle can become a little thicker and can increase in size. And that is often a marker that blood pressure has been raised over time. So again, that was a short video on white coat hypertension. It's common, commonly seen. We don't ignore it. We do like to get a bit more information, get your blood pressure checked at home in your own home natural environment. But again, there are some tests that can be done with a 24-hour blood pressure monitor, an ECG, and an ultrasound of the heart or an echocardiogram. And they can be great tests to give us a lot of information about what the best course of action for your blood pressure is. Until the next video, bye for now.